Hello Commanders, this is Commander Fu, bringing you another edition of Battle Warship Naval Empire Training Academy. Um, today we've been discussing in my alliance a little bit about how to uh, pick what equipment you want on your carriers, and the, one of the things that you have to realize is each carrier is different, so there's not one answer as to what to put on a carrier um, that fits every single carrier. So the interesting thing um, a lot of people gloss over when they're looking at the carriers. Um, they gloss over the, the little um, overall evaluation diagram, but there's a lot of very good information that you can glean from this, uh, this chart and also from the attributes. Um, so for the Ford, for instance, we're looking at a carrier that has an SS rating for warship bonus and an A rating. A rating for aircraft bonus. It doesn't take a load well, it doesn't have a lot of speed, um, it's viable, it, it's strong, um, and it has decent command. The command allows you to um, add more warships. So we can look a little bit more viability over a, all evaluation of carrier health, armor, dodge, and other defense attributes. So when we're picking equipment for the carrier, we have to pick the car pick the equipment that matches what works for the carrier. Now I say that, and let's see. So the Vic, the Vic kind of looks bad um, when you look at it, but it's a three-star carrier to start. And as you elevate this carrier, and then you evolve it it does become quite a strong beast uh, so you can look at what what it can become by looking at the um, when you go when you see for instance when you have the evolution you can look at it and see what it becomes so as an S class you can see that it's very strong it has a warship bonus uh, but it's definitely it gets a lot stronger. It's very strong against your against your opponent's aircraft. So we'll click back out of that. Okay. So we'll go to. Let's go back. I don't know if this actually shows the Golden America or not. Um, okay. So it does. So your Golden America, it's more aircraft, and it really doesn't do much for your warships. So when you pick pick your equipment, you want to look at what equipment is going to give you what. So when you're talking about the um, like the BGM missile, uh, BGM 109 missile is going to give you an overall attack of 4% for, and blockade to aircraft. So your blockade to aircraft is going to go back to the carrier that says that it boosts your blockade to the aircraft. So you want to pick things that are going to boost, play to the strengths of the carrier, and compensate for the weaknesses of the carrier. Now when you start talking about skins, your skin you have the aircraft attack speed, your counterattack speed, accuracy, and it also has another air, a bonus aircraft uh, for this one. It has a bonus aircraft counterattack speed. So this just helps out with the aircraft, and you know, different skins are going to give you different um, bonuses. Now, when you're trying to figure these out, it might be easier to look into the handbook. The handbook is going to give you a lot of information. You can kind of scan across and see, um, especially with, when you have stuff, you can look across and see what it does. Your R77 2S is going to give you better than your R77-1. Um, and when you're looking at the, the nav airs, okay, your, let's see if I can find a Raptor. I think that's Core of God. So you're, you have a lot of resources to figure out what works. Um, but the, the biggest thing is that what the carrier can do is what you have to support. And that's why you can say, look at the numbers of a piece of equipment and 
you think, well, I should be able to put this on any carrier, it really doesn't help every carrier. And that's why you have to look at each individual carrier when you're going to put um, equipment on. Now the process for that is you want to go into your dock and up in the upper right hand corner you're going to have the power and if you look the the Golden America has a power of mine's 1.5 at this point in time. So then I'm going to go back over to the base and then I'm going to switch over to here and okay so that tells me that I don't have a phalanx. So in the process I was discussing, you're going to take and say, okay, well, I have what my attributes are for the equipment, but again, the equipment plays to the carrier, so just because the numbers say that it's better, doesn't mean that it's better. Like here, the goalkeeper close in, it looks like it would be better but because blockade to warship is 19%. Versus the the gate 30, um, which is overall defense of 11.6. So let me just give an example. This one says it's better. Okay. But when I put it on, it goes up 52,000 points. Okay. So straight up by the numbers, that, that gives me a 52,000 point increase in my power. But we go to back over to the, the carrier base and then we look at we change this out and we put what seems like it would be a lower um, lower piece of equipment we equip that and now when we go back over to the dock now I'm up to 1.7 million on that piece of equipment so the, that one piece of equipment was worth 200,000 uh, power point boost to this carrier um, so, it's kind of critical to understand what the carrier can do compared to the equipment that you're putting on it. You know, and that, that little demonstration shows that the wrong equipment, though it seems stronger um, by numbers, is not going to actually help because it's not playing to the strengths of the carrier. I hope that helps. Um, and this is definitely um, done for people in my alliance in 308. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and actually gain something from it, and I hope everybody can gain. Um, just to state it, um, my goal in the videos is to help the people uh, that are playing with no money or limited amount of money um, to equal out the playing field for the Wallet Warriors. Um, I'm hoping that more people understand the game and can play the game without having to resort to spending to compensate for lack of knowledge. Um, I do hope that it, people are gaining, gaining good information and can help themselves without having to resort to spending, um, which I think if, if we can reduce the number of people that are playing with exorbitant amounts of money, it'll be a more fun game for everybody. Um, I know the developers are probably not going to like to hear me say that, um, but the reality is it's not a lot of fun when just one person is playing with a lot of money and everybody else is stuck with whatever's left. So uh, if you like the content, please hit the subscription button and also the like and notification button so that you receive uh, updates for new videos. Um, have a nice day, everybody, and thank you very much.